Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today we're going to take a look at getting Pat Winlink with RDOP set up on the Draws hat. Stick around and we'll get right to it. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the Pi RDOP C modem installed. So uh, make directory with MKDIR space, and I'm just going to call this RDOP. And let's go ahead and move to the new directory we've created. And we're going to go over to John Wiseman's uh, beta download page and scroll down until we see Pi RDOP C. So right here, I'm going to right click on that and copy the link location. And then we'll use the wget command and paste in that link to go ahead and download that file. All right, so list out the directory there and you'll see the, the file is downloaded. And I'm going to go ahead and change that to make it executable. So sudo chmod, got to spell it right, plus x and give it the pi r.c. Now, if we run our list command again, you'll see that that file is now executable. All right, so we'll just clear the screen. I'm actually going to open up another tab here. Now, let's move over to the downloads directory. So, oh, typing is horrible today. All right, so now we're in the downloads directory, and let's go find the link for Pat Winlink. So here we are uh, in, on the download page for Pat. And again, I'll leave a link to this web address here down in the description below. But we're looking for the one right here, the armhf.debian. So I'm going to right click on that one and copy the link location. Back on the Pi, let's use the wget command again. And go ahead and paste in that link that we just grabbed. All right, now we should have the pat file. So let's use sudo dpkg-i and the file name that you see. And we'll go ahead and hit return. Oop. I have a misspelling there as well. Boy, my typing is horrible today. All right, dash i. So it's sudo dpkg or dpkg-i and the file name. Let's go ahead and hit return again and give that just a second to get installed. All right, I was beginning to think that something had gone astray. It hung up there for a minute on processing the triggers for the MAN database, uh, but it did finally get finished up. Okay, so we need to configure PAT, so I'm going to move over to the directory that has the config file. So cd tilde forward slash dot wl2k. Uh, and it's critical to get that period or that dot right there in that. And if we list out those commands, you'll see the config.json file. So I'm going to use nano config.json. All right, so first thing we want to do is put our call sign in here. All right, your password will go here. Obviously, I'm not going to do mine on video. Let's come down to our locator. This is your grid square, so mine is EM65TV. In the next line here, we're going to take out localhost and enter 0, .0, .0, .0. That'll allow us to not only access it while we're on the Raspberry Pi, but it'll also allow us to access it from across the network. Now, here's something unique to uh, the Draws hat. When you're running their image, they've already taken up port 8080. Uh, so let's go over to the Draws manager real quick. And it's going to be difficult because it's small on your screen, but uh, they're using colon 8080 to bring you into the Draws manager. So we can't use that port, so we need to pick another port. Uh, just for the demo here, I'm going to use port 5000. Okay, so next we're going to come down to hamlib underscore rigs. Now, I've kind of gotten away from rig control with Pat on my other system uh, because Pat is limited in its rig control capabilities. Uh, it can change the frequency with no problem, 
but it cannot change the mode. So if you're in upper sideband and need to move to lower sideband, or you're in upper sideband and need to move to a, a digital mode on your rig like the 857 needs to be, um, Pat will not change that mode. So on my other system, I've gotten away from this, uh, but unfortunately, we need to be able to key the radio with Pat this time over cat control since we don't have Vox built into this sound card. So to get the information that we need to go here, I'm going to head over to the Pat Wiki. And I'll leave a link to their Wiki page down in the description below as well. And right here we're going to come over to Rig Control. All right, now we've already got Hamlib installed, so we can bypass all of that. Uh, this will tell you how to find more information on your radio if you're using something different than the 857. Uh, this tells you how to start the daemon, which we will need this info in a minute. But right now we're looking for this configuration information right here. So I'm going to copy this one line here and let's head back over to the pie okay so right here i'm going to paste in that line that we just copied and then i'm going to move over here i don't want this thing called my precious rig i'm going to call this the 857 okay now note right here whatever you call it you're going to need to reference that uh, below in the file. So when you see me typing 857 later on, this is where that information is coming from. The rest of this should work okay for you. But you can name your rig whatever you want to name it. So coming on down in the file, I'm looking for the RDOP section. Okay. So here's where it says RDOP. So this starts the RDOP section. And right here, by rig, I'm going to tell it to use the 857 rig. Under PTT control, we need to change that from false to true. And that should be the only changes we need there. So let's press control X, Y, and enter to get out of that file. And let's go ahead and clear that screen. Okay, so one more thing we need to do before we try to make our first connection. Let's move back to our home directory. And let's say nano dot a s o u n d r c a sound r c and we'll hit return and that brings us into this file here. Let's go down to the very bottom and we want to paste in this line here. Now I'll leave this uh, command or, or this, uh, this line here down in the description below. And then I'm going to clean this up just a little bit. So I'm going to move that down. Uh, let's move this down to the next line and indent that. Okay, and I, now one thing about this, uh, I, I'm not super clear on exactly what the function of this is. I believe it's to change the sample rate of the sound card. Uh, I could not get the connection to work without this, uh, but I, I'm still not super clear on what it does. You can probably head over to John Wiseman's page, read up on it, and figure it out. Uh, I just know that I needed it to make the connection. All right, once we've got that in there, let's press Control X, Y, and Enter to get out of it. Okay, now to get everything running, uh, since I haven't written any kind of scripts for this to automate it, uh, we're going to need three tabs open across the top here. I've got two, so let's press uh, Control-Shift-T to get a third one open. All right, in the first one, let's move to our RDOP directory. And we're going to start RDOP with this command here. So this is dot forward slash pi r dot c eighty five fifteen, which is the port. This next section here is our card number, our sound card information, and that's repeated twice. So let's go ahead and press enter, and that will start here. 
Now, let's go ahead and move to the second tab over. In this tab, we need to start the daemon for rig control. So, the rig control command for the 857 is going to be this. Uh, rig R-I-G C-T-L-D. And the D indicates uh, that we're starting a daemon. We're not actually sending commands direct to the radio from the command line. Uh, you can do that, and you would just leave the D off. But in this case, we need the D. Uh, the dash M122 tells us our model number uh, for our radio. This tells us where our cat connection is located. And this tells us the baud rate of the cat connection. Now, this is going to vary for every radio. Uh, I did do uh, a little bit more in-depth uh, explanation of this in one of my older videos on setting up cat control with Pat. Uh, I'll leave a link to that playlist right up at the top. But let's go ahead for now and start that. And you don't get any feedback. It just goes to the next line. But it is running, and I'll show you. Uh, we can kind of prove that it's running in the next tab. On the next tab, what we need to do is start PAT. So PAT HTTP. All right. First line here says that the 857 is ready and that the dial frequency is 7.088. Now, if uh, something was wrong in our other screen, which is right here, then you would have gotten some sort of connection error here instead of getting the dial frequency of the rig. And then we've started the HTTP service, and this is the address that we filled out uh, in the PAT configure file, uh, and there's our port number of 5000. So, let's go ahead and open up the web browser, and I'm just going to grab a new tab here. And let's go to 127.0.0.1 colon 5000. And that's that port number we were talking about earlier. And the first time it runs, you'll need to say allow for notifications. All right, so let's go ahead and try to make our first connection. Let's go up to action and connect. We're going to choose RDOP from the drop-down in the transport. And then I'm going to try to connect to, uh, let's see, AJ4GU. And let's go ahead and click the connect button. Okay, band conditions aren't the best right now. But you can see right here that I am connected to AJ4GU. So the connection is working. And if you watch down here in the bottom, you can actually see that connection going through. So that's it, guys. That's how you set up a uh, PAT Winlink with RDOP on the Draws hat. Be sure to give this a video a thumbs up and go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.